The first thing I want you to do is pray. Pray every way you know how for everyone you know. Pray especially for rulers and their governments to rule well so we can be quietly about our business of living simply in humble contemplation. This is the way our Savior God wants us to live. He wants not only us, but everyone saved. You know, everyone to get to know the truth that we've learned, that there's one God and only one, and one priest mediator between God and us, Jesus, who offered himself in exchange for everyone held captive by sin to set them all free. Eventually, this news is going to get out. This and this only has been my appointed work, getting this news to those who have never heard of God and explaining how it works by simple faith and plain truth. Since prayer is at the bottom of all this, what I want mostly is for men to pray. Not shaking angry fists at enemies, but raising holy hands to God. And I want women to get in there with men in humility before God. Not primping before a mirror or chasing the latest fashions, but doing something beautiful for God and becoming beautiful by doing it. I don't let women take over and tell the men what to do. They should study to be quiet and obedient along with everyone else. Adam was made first, then Eve. Woman was deceived first, our pioneer in sin, with Adam right on her heels. On the other hand, her childbearing brought about salvation, reversing Eve. But this salvation only comes to those who continue in faith, love, and holiness, gathering it all into maturity. You can depend on this.